And finally, we're back in Cebu. It's always a breath of fresh air to come back home in Karkar. And something that is a must do is to visit St. Catherine of Alexandria Church to give thanks and praise for keeping us safe during our travel in Bohol. After our church visit, we passed by the town museum. Like, since we're already here, and uh, sadly, before we part ways with Kiara, why don't we drop by and take a tour around, diba? Right? Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Welcome to Karkar City Museum. This establishment built in 1929 during the American period. 92% uh, of the house uh, is original, 92 years old house. Okay, Mauna Star kay funded by Americans. Mm -hmm. Ang nag-initiate ani nga project among second mayor nga si Don Mariano A. Mercado. Si ang mayor ato nga time sa 1900s. So first, game mo ni siyang clubhouse from 1931 until 1936. Second, game mo ni siyang hospital from 1937 until 2005. This is the first hospital in the south. Mao na siyang na is siya Philippine Health Service. Then 2006-2007, game mo ni siyang mga offices sa government. Then 2008 until now, e game mo siyang museum. Okay. Okay. So, mo ni siya ang Karkar Rotonda. Karkar Rotonda mo ay ang landmark sa Karkar. So, this is the second circle in the whole Cebu province. First, kay Katong Puentes Minya, second ang Karkar ng nice circle. Okay. Ni mo ni siya ay Tres Lunas Cabinet. Full Tres Lunas na siya ay back to Locador. Back to back ang yung open. So, 80 years old cabinet. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. 80 like, years old? 80. No? Uh, 1940s, built in 1940s. It's still... It's, 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 it's a hardwood called... Ang dili siya ka ng kauno ng anay kay kuhaan siya. Pero madutla ni siya o katong agay ay nga. Parang like anina, uh, kuhaan siya. Uh, it's been well preserved. I know, right? It's still intact. Yeah, yes. It's not like, like the, the usual uh, wood. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Then next to your right, oh. there's old radio. <laughs> uh, Japanese made radio. Ah, that's this one. Nice. So there's a channel, then there's the volume. That's ah. cool. Can you put it up? Yes. Okay. So this is where... Can you change it? Sa... Uh, yes. Can you put it on the channel so you can put it on the channel? Next, at the right, na mona first nga fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. It looks heavy. It does look heavy. Yeah. <laughs> mona is gamit. Di, di parehatong isa nga tiil na ang gamit ta. Oh. Kani mo ni siya. Kina first nga fire ah uh, kwan yeah. swing machine. Oh. Okay. Ano ni siya? Kani. Ah uh, bolt. Ah hmm? uh, bolt. Bolt. Yes. Para sa dalan sa mga kan money or document. Oh, more shig. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you saw when you said that was heavy, okay, yeah. it looks heavy, but this one is more heavier than yeah. the other one. <laughs> okay, moving on. Typewriter. 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 Yes. Huh? Do you like typewriters? Yeah, it's fun to write yeah. them and it yeah. sounds good. I know, right? Yeah, it's like ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> This is the uh, 1970s. Uh, before ni siya gihimo museum, ang LGO Karkar nag-collect og mga artifacts from sa tanang taga Karkar. Pero ang karon among gi-promote gyud sa diri sa Karkar ang heritage houses for sungka. Yeah, oh, I used to play this. Yeah, seven stone, eight hole. Mm -mm. I used to play that with my. Come on, come on, do it. So, money ang mga gamit sa mga farmers. Money mm -hmm. daro. Then, kini money siya eh, kan? Galingan sa mais. Ay, yeah. Uh, yeah, no? Ang mais diri siya, then magtuyok ni musta, mo sud ang mais dito. Igawas diri bugas na. Mm -hmm. Then, during the 1800s, money lang was basin. I would, yeah. Yeah, well, wood. It's wood. Oh, I thought it was like stone. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, the first. Ah, pwede rin mo. Dili, pwede mo. Ah, pwede touch. That's a hard wood. Oh, yeah. What type of wood is this? Ah, uh, tugas. Tugas? Yeah, or, or mulabe. Mm -hmm. 
And this one is Lusong og Alho para sa nilopak na saging. Or oh, okay. daga ni siya gamit, pwede yung mais or humay yung aris lamang ko. Para kani, man siya gantangan. So gantangan means sa karon nga panahon, means one kilo of rice. O sa kagantang, o sa kilo. Yes, okay. this one. So that was the measurement. This please. is a measurement. So, oh, really? One uh, pull of rice, then equivalent of one kilo of rice. Oh. Bangguran sa mais. Ay, ikaw na ang mais para ako. Kaya deklaro kayo siya tungkol sa kanilang metal parts niya. What is this one? Then, kani kayo para sa initubig. Pabutka lang. Okay, that's where there's a point. Kanay ka niya siya para sa unsa niya? Chinese calculator. Abakos. Ay, um. Kani yung small part. Kani kayo para sa lutoanan o humba. So, during panahon pa niya sa Spaniards. It's really telling us to Cook. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it really feels like a dollhouse. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So this house is mixed ang design, Spaniards and American design. Mm. This one, yeah. wala siya, dili siya hait ng swords kay wala siya gigamit during 1960s. Sa stage play, during piyesta, from day one until nine days, wala may disco, wala may concert. So, mo nilang gibuhat si Buwano ni Lambay. So, mo nilang props. So, stage play, si Buwano ni Lambay. Then, kanina mo ni Spaniard Swords. So, they are very old? Yes. The Swords? How old? I think, during Spaniards nga Swords. Mga 400 years. And the picture? Ang um, um, pictures mo ni sila ang mga artist sa Nilambay. Ah, oh, like the actor, oh. mga actors and oh, actors yes. during the play? During the play. Oh. Then, kini mo nilang props and also the cup. Mm -hmm. So, you have to learn the art Yeah, it's nice to get a little bit so we get to know more about my roots. Kini mo ni sila ang kawan sa ka artist, then sa ka abogado, then na himos yung senador po during it in hundreds. O sa na siya ka karakaranon, ilang balay na ubus ya sa igdaing sa ka ni mo na old houses dito, mo na ilang balay. So sa likod sa balay na siya swimming pool is the first Olympic size pool in the whole Cebu province during 1930s. Himos yung clubhouse na mga rooms dito sa Luyo. Kumaan niya mong mga heritage houses sa Karkar. Mga tag 400 years old house. This one, Balay sa Tisa. It's a 423 years old house. Remain standing, gihapon siya. Kinipod na agihapon. Akaning tanan na agihapon ni siya. Pero karon wala pa sila nagdawat o guest. O sapon na sila sa heritage houses sa Karkar. Then, mao ni siya sa unang panahon nga. Wala yung electricity, mao ni lang gigamit nga lights. Primos or lampara. Lampara. Or primos. This is the first kanang plancha. Ay, oh, I was thinking of plancha. Like, it's soft mga rin yung bus. So, yung ibutang o ka ng mga coal. Coaling, ayos. Coal na, then iyan na tayo. Na siya handol. Then, kinihing kayo mao ni siya ikan para sa tsokolate. Ay, like sikwati. Sikwati. Yes, ma'am. This is a big table. I know, right? This dining table, napag yung pinaka-old ani nga table, katong gitawag nila nga one piece, nga dili siya sumpay-sumpay. Pusag yun siya ka-table, nga walay inani, di ba? Kanina siya yung sumpay. So, ang katong one piece nga, gitawag yung one piece nga table, wala yun siya yung inani. So, tibuok yun siya. Like one whole wood? Yes. So, naana sa balay sa Tisa po. O sa kanang ilaw doon, Mariano Mercados Mansion. O nasa po sa convent na dito. Makikita po. Dari kayo, makita ni mo ang Kuan Hall Plaza. So, kanang mong church mo na siya. Second oldest church in the whole Cebu province. It's very nice. It's really nice if you like wake up and come here and you see the church. Yeah, exactly. I think the only disadvantage is the bell. Once they ring it and then you try to sleep, mm. and then it rings. <laughs> oh God! 
No. So, what is your second mayor? Si Don Mariano E. Mercado during the 1900s. So, what is your old swimming pool? During the American period, it was a clubhouse. Mm. Mga rooms. Mm. Then, there were rooms. Then, there were cottages. So, the cottages were built in a table. Then, above uh, the table, there was a built-in cheese board. So, there was a diving board ang swimming pool. Oh, so, ano, kani? Kani mm. nasa pool booth? Oh, there was a diving board. Kana. Sir, when was it? When was it? Like, the... Uh, kung ano tubig, uh, uh, mga uh, kung ano year 2000, wala na so. Do you ever want to? Do you ever think of like going or traveling back in time and trying oh, to yeah, experience definitely. this? Oh yeah, definitely. No. Yes. I would like to see how the Philippines was before it, like before the Spaniard came, mm -hmm. and then how, then to see how different the Philippines became after the Spaniards. Yes. It's fulfilling to know that everything here is in Cebu. It's truly a melting pot for a tourist destination that cater every age group, from the history buffs to the adventurous lads. From now on, we shall explore what more Cebu has to offer. And what better part of the Premier Island province should we start exploring than the Queen City of the South itself? Cebu City, I can't wait to experience your beauty. Oh, okay. It's a wrap for now, Paradise Buddies. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that like button and please do leave a comment. Thanks for watching.